In this video, we will be having a discussion about the nerve supply of the knee joint. This is the part 5 of the video. We will start with the nerve supply first. So, it will be very easy if you remember that almost every compartment of the thigh, that is uh, the nerve of the anterior compartment, the nerve of the medial compartment and the nerve of the posterior compartment of the thigh, uh, the nerve from each of this compartment will supply the knee joint. So, if you start with the nerve of the anterior compartment of the thigh, you can see that the nerve of the anterior compartment is the femoral nerve. Now, the femoral nerve supplies the knee joint. How it supplies the knee joint? So, you know that the femoral nerve, it gives out branches to the vastae. So, it gives out numerous branches to the vastus lateralis, vastus intermedialis, and vast, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. And through this, branches of the femoral nerve to the vastae muscle it supplies the knee joint so that is the branches of femoral nerve to the vastae muscle is also supplying the knee joint so you can say that the femoral nerve supplies the knee joint through its branches to the vastus muscle especially the nerve to the vastus medialis is supplying the knee joint so so we can say that the femoral nerve through its branches to the vastae is supplying the knee joint, especially vastus medialis. Now which is the other nerve that is which is the nerve of the medial compartment that is the obturator nerve. Now that the obturator nerve has anterior and posterior division. Now it is the obturator nerve at the posterior uh, division of the nerve gives out a branch to the knee joint so there is a branch from the posterior division of obturator nerve which is supplying the knee joint so obturator nerve also supplies the knee joint through its posterior division so posterior division of obturator nerve Now you will see the uh, now of the posterior compartment of the We know that the sciatic now is the now of that compartment that is the posterior as well. Now the sciatic now divides into uh, terminal branches like tibial now and the sciatic now. So through the terminal branches the sciatic now is supplying the knee joint. You will see the posterior aspect. So on the anterior aspect we have the femoral nerve which is supplying the knee joint through its branches to the vastae muscle. On the medial aspect we have the obturator nerve which supplies the knee joint through its posterior division. Now we go into the posterior compartment. Posterior aspect. So we know that on the posterior aspect you can see a diamond shaped depression here that is the popliteal fossa and on the superior angle of the popliteal fossa the sciatic now divides into two terminal branches one is the tibial now which passes like this and the other one is the common peroneal now which passes on the superior to the lateral angle and winds around the neck of fibula like this. Now, uh, the sciatic nerve is giving branches to the knee joint through this terminal branches. So, which are the terminal branches? This is the tibial nerve, this is the common peroneal nerve. Now, you will see how each of these nerves is supplying the knee joint. You will see the tibial nerve first. So, this is the lateral aspect, this is the medial aspect. You can see that the common peroneal nerve is on the lateral aspect compared to the tibial nerve. So common peroneal nerve gives out lateral genicular branch here. So it gives out a superior lateral genicular branch which supplies the knee joint and it gives out um, in a, there is an inferior lateral genicular nerve and there is a recurrent genicular nerve which passes anteriorly and supplies the knee joint. So which are these branches? First one which is superior on, on the lateral as well that is called the superior lateral genicular nerve. Superior. 
and inferiorly you have the inferior lateral, lateral genicular nerve and here it is the recurrent genicular nerve which passes anteriorly and supplies the new joint that is the recurrent genicular nerve so these three are branches of common peroneal nerve to the knee joint these are the genicular branches of common peroneal nerve now you'll see the branches of the tibial nerve so tibial nerve is only on the middle as well compared to the common peroneal nerve so it gives a superior medial genicular which is superiorly at the inferior medial genicular and a medial genicular now so this is very easy one which is given out in the superior aspect is superior medial genicular on the inferior aspect is inferior medial genicular on the middle is middle genicular so these are the branches of the tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve which is supplying the knee joint so this is very easy if you think that uh, the nerve of every compartment of the thigh supplies the knee joint first of all uh, nerve of the anterior compartment is femoral nerve supplies the knee joint through its branches to the vasti muscle the obturator nerve which is the nerve of the medial compartment supplies the knee joint through its posterior division now the sciatic nerve uh, through its terminal branches like uh, the tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve supplies the knee joint the tibial nerve sorry the common peroneal nerve on the lateral aspect it, it is on the lateral aspect so it is giving superior lateral genicular inferior lateral genicular and recurrent genicular and you can see that the tibial nerve it is supplying three genicular branches one is superior medial genicular inferior medial genicular and middle genicular nerve so these are the nerve supply of the knee joint thank you for watching this video to see more videos on my channel please subscribe the channel thank you